Turning to other news now, the potty problem in Chinatown, downtown area, one step closer to a possible solution. A new city report has come up with suggestions for standalone bathrooms and where to put them. KITV4's Andrew Pereira is the first to report on the findings. He joins us now with more. Andrew. Paula, the 15 page report has several examples of standalone restrooms, but finding a proper location could be the biggest challenge. Hosing down sidewalks, it's an almost daily chore for merchants in Chinatown and downtown Honolulu. The problem, a lack of restrooms for the large homeless population. In fact, they're so blasé, they just do it in front of me. Chulon Schubert Kwok represents 250 Chinatown merchants. Many say they've had enough. It drives business away, and I think it's just unfair. A new city report provides hope for a solution standalone bathrooms with four models to choose from. The Amsterdam urinal, for men only and not very private. The rectangular Exlu from Australia, stainless steel and vandal resistant. The box like Euro module from Germany with an automatic locking feature. And the Portland Lou with louvers to discourage loitering. The cost $100,000 to $1 million. It's a very small amount of money in terms of the entire city budget. The restroom at the Chinatown Police Substation is open 24 hours a day, but the report says users consistently show a lack of respect for the facility. That's why a more sturdy standalone bathroom may be the answer for Chinatown. However, that will require finding a location suitable for Chinatown merchants. Private property owners are really unwilling to have standalone restroom facilities next to their properties because they think that it's really going to um, impact their business operations. It's better than not having, so that's the very selfish way of the talk. The city's report says there are four possible locations with existing water and sewer lines, all of them within the hustle and bustle of Chinatown. I think if we approach you know, this, this problem with a shared sense of community, uh, ownership and pride, we can find a solution somehow. The city is chasing a budget deficit of more than $46 million for the upcoming fiscal year, so it remains to be seen if Chinatown restrooms will be funded by the city council. Back to you.